Hi, this is Steve at BlessedHopeForever.com. Just to follow up to my last Rapture timeline update, I want to give you the precise number of days along a timeline. I want to try to explain this in a way that is fairly easy to understand, at least to show you where our position is on this. And from the time that the daily sacrifice, that is the church, shall be taken away, that is, the rapture, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, midpoint, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Twelve hundred ninety days, Daniel twelve eleven. From the time that which has continued, the word in the Hebrew is tamid, meaning conti uh, continual continuity, that which has continued, be taken away, and the word taken away, meaning abolished or cut off or to me it means to depart that's the hebrew the church is that living sacrifice that departs or is cut off i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god that you present your bodies a living sacrifice a singular living sacrifice it's singular in the greek holy acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service romans 12:1 it isn't plural, it is singular, a singular living sacrifice. We are that sacrifice that is taken away. I want you to note that whatever is taken away or departs, whatever that is, it does so at the beginning. It has to at the beginning. If it were something that was cut off at the midpoint, then folks, the verse would make no sense since it is 1290 days from that which departs to the midpoint. This forces a 30-day gap between the rapture and the time that the two witnesses begin their 1260-day ministry. So it's rapture, 30-day gap, and then the beginning of, the, of the, the ministry of the two witnesses, which goes to the midpoint, which is a total of 1290 days. And I will give power unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days clothed in sackcloth, twelve hundred and sixty days. Revelation eleven three. When the two witnesses have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will wage war with them and will overpower and kill them. Their bodies will lie in the street of the great city, figuratively called Sodom and Egypt where their Lord was also crucified, so that's Jerusalem, Revelation 11, 7, and 8, midpoint. Once again, rapture, 30-day gap, two witnesses are killed at the midpoint, 1,290 days. That's the only place, folks, that this 1,290 days would fit along the timeline. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. That's 1260 days. 1260 days. If you took 1260 and you divided it by 30, or, you know, you would get 42 months. Revelation 13 5. Once again, rapture, 30 day, 30 day gap, two witnesses. Antichrist reigns, so the sequence is 30, 1260, another 1260, totaling 2550 days. So 2550 days, rapture to the return of Christ at the end of the Antichrist's reign. Most watchmen are aware of that number, 2550 days. It is true that the 1260 and 1260 equals 2520, but that, that is not all the days along a timeline. And from the time that the daily sacrifice is abolished, the rapture and the abomination of desolation set up the midpoint, there will be 1290 days. Blessed is he who waits and reaches the end of the 1335 days. That is midpoint to the kingdom, 1335 days, Daniel 12, 11, and 12. It has to be from the midpoint to the beginning of the kingdom. It has to be, 13, 35 days. So the midpoint, from the midpoint, 
through to the time in which Jesus returns, the, the, the period known as the Great Tribulation, where that the Antichrist reigns for 1260 days, 75 more days to the beginning of the kingdom, which totals 1335 days. 1260, 75 equals 1335 days. Now, if this 1335 days, folks, if it began at the rapture, the 1335 days would end on the 45th day of the Great Tribulation period inside the 1260 day reign of the Antichrist, which makes no sense. Were that, were that that blessed is he who waits and reaches the end of the 1335 days would make no sense. So it is 1335 days midpoint to kingdom. That gives us a total number of days here. 30, 1260, equaling 1290, another 1260, and then 75. 26, 25 days total along any timeline. I don't care what, what watchman you are. Any timeline must have 26, 25 days. Now, regarding the 360-day year versus the 365, that is irrelevant. Why is that? Because days are days, no matter what standard of measurement one uses. A day is a day, whether you're a Jew or a Gentile or a Cocker Spaniel. The only factor that is relevant are the dates upon which these markers along the timeline rest. Therefore, it is to our advantage that we look and see where these dates land or hit on the Hebrew calendar, the Hebrew calendar, not the Gregorian calendar. And that is exactly, exactly what my 2021 timeline does. It is what any timeline should do. This is Steve. Thanks for listening.